Hi, I'm Emily Calandrelli, back with another reminder that the future is you. I'm an aerospace engineer, and so I am so excited about the new Career and Technical Education, or CTE, aerospace engineering program here at James Rumsey Technical Institute in beautiful Martinsburg, West Virginia. If you want an exciting career like mine, a CTE program is a great place to start. Today, they're designing and testing straw rockets. So, let's go check it out. I'm gonna cry. Um, our nose cone is up here. The aerospace program here at Rumsey is about introduction to aerospace itself, yeah. and at the same time, it's also an introduction to engineering. Mm -hmm. It's a two-year, um, four-course class. Students usually start out in the beginning with the very basic concepts. Um, they'll cover CAD, um, they'll cover how to do 3D printing, they'll go over the basic engineering design process, which is a step-by-step -step procedure that they follow. Um, it starts out as a design and then goes all the way to manufacturing a prototype to testing the prototype. And then we also write an engineering report at the end of each project to describe to the potential clients the whole process that they followed and what they've learned. Mr. E. Yes, ma'am. So with the, because um, for the units it says centimeters, how, how does that like convert? To <coughs> we can, that one. Can you tell me a little bit more about the simulated workplace structure that you have here? I would love to, that's my passion here. So for example, in aerospace engineering, it is all project-based. So each team has uh, members and their roles are very defined. Someone might be responsible for research, someone might be responsible for the presentation. Um, and they have to negotiate who's playing what role, um, what they know, what they don't know. Um, and this whole process is really one of productive struggle. Um, and it's empowering students to take charge of their own learning. Um, and that's very different from our perception of education where the teacher stands and delivers and the students um, sit back just and, sit back. Yeah. What made you want to take this class? Um, there's a couple of reasons actually. Um, I love math so much. And that's like a dorky thing to say. That's like, no, I love that you're speaking my language. But um, the, like, the biggest thing is that I love pushing the boundaries of what's possible and what's not possible. What do we know about the job market for STEM careers in West Virginia? So STEM careers, the job market is growing in the state. Pratt Whitney, Boeing, Bombardier. So there are jobs in these fields and we want students to know that, that this field is for everyone. The Mid-Atlantic Aerospace Complex in Clarksburg recently hosted a Girls in Aviation Day, the first ever. It was a huge success. They really showcased different stations, all of the exciting things that aviation has to offer. What an incredible day. I am so excited that the aerospace industry is growing so much in my home state. The number of jobs are growing and so are the number of students pursuing STEM careers. If you're a middle school or high school student, you have to check out the CTE classes at your local high school. To learn more, talk to your school counselor and go to careertechwv.com. I'm Emily Calandrelli and remember, the future is you.